Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 30 in chapter 25. Chapter 25 is about electric currents and resistance. So there you can see we have a hollow cylindrical resistors. Look like this one. Inner radius R1, outer radius R2, length L. And then the resistivity rho. Ask you to prove the resistance is given by this uh, function for current that flows radically outward. So the current flows radically outward this way, right? And you can think the cross-sectional areas is just 2 pi r times L, agree? 2 pi r times L. As a length, this current moves is in this way, right? We can consider it is L plus. And then we look at the function. Resistance is rho times L plus divided by A. As we talk about, the A is 2 pi R times L, 2 pi R times L. And then we can cut a small fraction. This is small fraction. You can see the length, it moves this way, is just a dr, right? dr. And so it is rho times dr. Now the resistance for this small fraction is dr. This is a capital R. This is the small fraction of a resistance equal to rho dr divided by 2 pi r l. Agree? Now you need to find the resistance for the r from the r1 to r2. Very straightforward. We do the integral. When we integral this term from the r1 to r2, then we get the function at there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now you can see some quantity is given. The quantity given is about R1, R2, right? Is given 1 millimeter, 1.8 millimeter length L is given. Mm -hmm. And the resistivity is given. So this uh, four quantity is given. So we input this four quantity inside in this uh, function R. We can get the final answer there. The third one asks you, what is the resistance in part B for current of flowing parallel to the axis? Now, Current flowing parallel, flowing parallel, that means the current goes this way. Agree? And then you can see how can you find the resistance. For this resistance, we still consider rho L divided by A. The L for this case is this one, right? The length of the wire L. A is the cross sectional areas for this uh, uh, cylindrical. So this is a pi r2 square minus r1 square, right? Input all the given quantities, get answer there. Thank you.